What's going on YouTube? Sean here and welcome back to another edition of After the Movie. I'm currently in my theater parking lot right now. I just got to see the movie Renfield starring Nick Cage, Nicholas Holt, Aquafina, Ben Schwartz, and I think that's pretty much the extent of the cast that I know. This one was directed by Chris McKay, who also was known for directing the Lego Batman movie. This is a super hardcore R-rated horror comedy about Renfield, the servant of Dracula, and Dracula, of course, played by Nicolas Cage, and if you wanted to see Nick Cage's Dracula, if you're going to this movie simply for that, you will not come away disappointed. This is exactly the type of Nick Cage performance I've been looking for for quite a while. I mean, I saw Unbearable Way to Master Town, that's pretty great, but this is like over-the-top Cage at his cagiest, and this movie's a lot of fun. Um, outside of maybe John Wick 4, which I thought was like an action max masterpiece, this is the most fun I've had at the movies all year without question this movie is so over the top it's so gory like the gore in some instances reminds me a bit of punisher war zone and that it's just so ridiculously over the top but it's also darkly funny too there's some great action sequences but at its core the story of this film is about renfield who's trying to get out of a toxic relationship with dracula you know codependency so there is a relatable factor with that there's there's another plot line going on with like police corruption and the mob enforcers that's isn't quite as interesting as the story with Renfield and Dracula played, you know, this Renfield this time is played by Nicholas Holt, and he's really good in the movie, he's got good comedic timing, uh, there's some crazy action bits with him and the bugs, and this one is clearly made, this film itself is made with a lot of love for old Universal monster stuff, I mean, they do some recreations from the original 1931 Dracula, but instead of having Lugosi in those scenes, they put Nicolas Cage in the Dracula role, and uh, Nicholas Holt, of course, is playing Renfield, who in the original 1931 film was played magnificently by Dwight Fry. Now, when I think of Renfield, I immediately go to Dwight Fry, or the guy who played him in the Spanish version of Dracula from 1931, who was just so extremely over the top. Um, but yeah, Nicholas Holt is really good in this thing. Nick Cage, of course, my God, he is so much fun. He is chewing up as much scenery as he's ever done. This is the type of Nick Cage I love to see. Really over the top, every single line is just overly extenuated, uh, overly done, and just every little mannerism and is just, like, just the little shit that Nick Cage does is just magnificent in this movie. He is having a ball. I had a lot of fun. My friend went, my friend went to see the movie with me too. He had a lot of fun with it. Uh, but they're all, like I said, at its core, it is a story about somebody trying to get out of a never ending bit of an abusive relationship done in, a more comedic over-the-top way but I think that's something that a lot of people can relate to where you're just in something where you can't seem to escape and it's about standing up to your abuser and just ultimately overcoming it but in this case an over-the-top extremely gory violent way uh, I don't know really what else I could say about it but it is a lot of fun um, it moves along at a quick pace there are some jokes I remember in the trailer that aren't in this movie, which makes me believe that there's probably going to be an unrated cut at some point. And yeah, there may be some instances where the CGI blood, uh, you're wondering, left wondering why it doesn't splatter over people as much as it does, but it does lead to some really epic, gory, violent kills. There is one sequence where Renfield rips off a man's arms and then throws him like a javelin spear and it impales somebody. I busted out laughing really hard when I saw that. I was like, this is amazing. This is just exactly the amount of ridiculous shit that I was looking for in this type of movie. So clearly there's a lot of love and passion for old Universal Monsters sprinkled in throughout this thing. Obviously the nods to the 1931 film and a lot of the shot recreations. So there's clearly love for that. Um, there's some ridiculous stuff uh, sprinkled throughout the entire movie. Some great action sequences, over the top violent gore. If you're looking for something like that, but in a more of a comedic fashion, you'll have a pretty good time with this thing. I mean, I was laughing. The The crowd wasn't huge when I saw the movie with, but we were all laughing quite a bit too. I mean, I was just every little conversation between Cage and Nicholas Hull, like those two have really good on-screen chemistry. And you do get a lot of different looks for Dracula. There's one look that we get to see of him where he's really decrepit. He looks like Liam Neeson in Darkman, which led me to believe that I really want to see Nick Cage play Darkman now. I just need more Nick Cage in this type of role because Nick Cage's Dracula was the thing that sold me on this thing from the get-go. Like, this is this makes me want to see it. And plus, you get the director of the Lego Batman movie, Chris McKay, which is a movie that I quite loved a lot. I think that's one of the best Batman movies ever made. Um, and then you get something like this where it doesn't overstate it's welcome it's efficient yeah the mob plot isn't quite as entertaining as the main storyline that's going on here but you, it is occupied by some decent actors in there too i mean aquafina's in there she's having fun um but like she has like her whole story with police corruption and all that 
Um, it's like I said, it's not as interesting as the story with uh, Nick Cage and uh, Nicholas Holt's characters. Uh, you have Ben Schwartz, who is kind of like the, the son of like the head of this mob, and he's really over the top, hamming it up quite a bit throughout the movie, and he is quite funny in a lot of scenes too. A lot of really gory scenes. I, I know I have to emphasize this a lot, but this is a pretty violent movie. In, in some ways, a lot of the kills feel straight out of Mortal Kombat, and if if you're going by fatalities, I think the fatalities in Renfield were a little more entertaining uh, than the ones in the Mortal Kombat movie. But uh, man, I just have a big goofy smile on my face after seeing this thing. I had a really good time. This definitely has a lot of rewatchability with it. Uh, I just like horror comedies when you can get them and they're done right. I think this is one that's done right. It's something right up my alley. It's super over the top, gory, over the top Nick Cage, really hamming it up and just chewing every bit of scenery possible. This, it's a beautiful match made in heaven. Whose ever idea was to cast Nick Cage as Dracula is an absolute genius. Like, because he just nails it so much in his own Nick Cage sort of way. He is a lot of fun. And just, oh, man, this is such a good time. I, I can't recommend it enough. So if you get the chance to, go check out Renfield. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's gory. I mean, if you're not into those type of movies, maybe it's not for you. But for someone like me, this is a movie made right up my alley. And... It's something I want to check out again uh, when I get the chance to. I'm sure it'll probably be on streaming in like a month or two. So if you really want to wait and skip out on the fun theatrical experience of seeing over-the-top Nick Cage in theaters like this, then just wait for streaming. But give yourself a watch of, you know, sit down, give Redfield a chance. I think you'll have a pretty good time. So uh, if anyone else has seen it, post your comments down below. If you plan on seeing it, let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content, all that other fun stuff. I'm going to try and see a couple more movies this weekend to get some more after the movies out. Uh, there's the new film from Makoto Shinkai, uh, Suzume, which I'm going to try and see on Saturday. Uh, there's the Russell Crowe Pope's Exorcist movie, which I'm probably going to see tomorrow. And if I can get the chance to, I'm going to try and see the Air movie, the, the film Air by Ben Affleck. So looking forward to all sorts of other videos coming on then evil dead rise comes out next week but and i tell you what been on a really good streak of movies but this one is some of the most fun i've had at the theaters all year outside of john wick uh at least like that i can think of like this was the most fun i've had in the theater this year it's uh it's glorious so anyways uh that's all i have to say about redfield really good time high recommendation for me um go check it out subscribe to each channel all that other fun stuff and as always take care now bye bye then and i will see you all in the next video peace